Now, is the hijab uh, an element of Sharia? Yes, it is. The hijab is mandatory upon every woman who attain the age of puberty. Sometimes by mistake, I like I go to the men's part. Like sometimes I receive looks that like you don't belong here. We're being attacked in many ways, be it like physical or you know um, being attacked verbally, things like that. And and part of the the challenges is that there's no place for us to go where we feel actually you know a sense of safety and just wanting to be able to to feel safe. Oh, the laws of Taliban. The laws of the Sharia of, of, of Islam, that's what they want to implement in their country, and that's all they know, uh, says that the women should wear their hijab. So what is wrong with that? In Toronto, the day also marked a significant moment for a small group of trailblazing Muslim women. Women in Islam are a gift. We're not objects. We're to building safe places for women to pray. At most mosques, the men and women pray in separate areas. The women usually behind the men. I want to also uh, greet uh, my greetings to the sisters upstairs, and the brothers downstairs, uh, and you all who welcome me into your holy place. Solidarity with my sisters from Saudi Arabia. My sisters from Iran and my sisters in the rest of the world. Now tell us, why, what, what do you think um, in terms of wearing it? Do you think people can still be modest and you know, practicing without wearing it? Most definitely, yes. It's, it's quite simple. Hijab is an obligation on Muslim women. I don't think any Muslim, any sister or any brother who is sitting here or Muslim who is not aware of rulings of hijab. We all know hijab is must. We all know hijab is wajib. Modesty is only one aspect of faith from what I've learned and what I see. Um, uh, of course, it doesn't mean that if a Muslim woman doesn't wear hijab, she's no longer a Muslim, but she is in sin. Right. So, yeah, just to stay away from that. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like when I'm ready and I'm ready to commit to that, I will willingly want to put it on one day. Hijab meaning that she covers her body, the whole of her body in a loose garment from head to toe, uh, nothing being seen of her except her face and hands. This is what I looked like in Saudi for 26 years. This was put on me before I was a teenager. I was not given a choice in putting this on. And whenever I took it off in public, I was threatened, or I was beaten, or I was kidnapped and jailed. Uh, if she's my daughter, uh, I could, uh, you know, uh, uh, speak to her uh, openly about it, and I, I, I may uh, use means, uh, lawful means, legal means, uh, to get my daughter to uh, uh, wear her hijab. Come inside, sisters. Have a seat. I'll get you something to drink. Whoever sees, so when, when a sister does not wear her hijab, she is committing munkar. She is committing uh, a sin. She is committing something that is haram. So now if I may speak to her uh, without causing a greater damage, a greater fitna, uh, then I should, I should talk to her. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. How are you doing, sister? Alhamdulillah, I've uh, just been feeling kind of confused and anxious nowadays. Um, the face is not something that has to be covered all the time mm -hmm. by a woman, but it's more of when there is a chance of her attracting attention to mm -hmm. herself, attracting the attention of unrelated men to herself. Right. So it is advised that she cover herself. Mm -hmm. When that is not the case, she may expose her face. The proper hijab sisters is the hijab that some of you call, some of you don't like, and is the jilbab from head to toe. That covers everything. This is the proper hijab, inshallah. Brothers, are you happy with the hijab? Sir? It's good to go. I went to a secular institution called the Public Library.
where I read everything I could about belief systems, and that, Fareed, is where I also discovered something that revolutionized my faith. I discovered that Islam has its own tradition of independent thinking and debate and dissent and reinterpretation, and it's a tradition known as ijtihad. Ijtihad. And what is so ironic, if not sad, is that I would have never learned about it at the religious school.